Hey, this is JR Todd, driver of the Optima Batteries uh, Top Fuel Dragster for Coletta Motorsports. This is my video blog for the NHRA Southern Nationals for CompetitionPlus.com. And when I got the call from Connie Clay, you know, and he asked if I would come to Vegas and, and hop in his hot rod, you know, I was blown away. I, I'm still kind of blown away. And this is our uh, fourth race in. So it's, uh, it's one of those dream opportunities that I just couldn't pass up, you know, driving for a, a living legend, the bounty hunter. And uh, just the passion and the enthusiasm that he has, you know, to this day. And he's 76 years old and uh, still out here like a, like a young kid wanting to whip up on all these guys. And I'm just honored to, uh, to be driving for him. That's the way to start it, side by side, J.R. Todd, 379 to the top of the heap. Well, so far after Q1, these uh, Optima battery guys are off to a good start, you know, we're number one qualifier, the 379 at I think 323 miles an hour, so uh, conditions are getting cooler now, track should be better, and uh, there's no reason we can't improve on that 79, so. Connie's in there looking at the computer, getting things uh, dialed in for this next run, and it should uh, it should be one for the books for sure. There's a lot of good cars out there capable of running some uh, some mid 70s, and I'm hoping we're one of them. I, I mean, you never know with uh, when they oil down the starting line that bad. I mean, that was a uh, that was a pretty good one. They had a lot of uh, gold dust, which is rosin, you know, trying to get the uh, the rubber to uh, adhere to the track and. Uh, I think that was like a 30 minute wait, but it was well worth it, you know, the safety so far, they did a heck of a job pre uh, prepping the track, you know, the, the car had a great uh, 60 foot time, so that just is a testament to, uh, to those guys work on the starting line, and like I said, there's no reason the track shouldn't be even better tonight. Uh, with these crazy weather conditions here at the Southern Nationals, you know, it's uh, amazingly cool here and usually it's pretty hot, so the track was super good tonight and the uh, air conditions were, uh, you know, there for uh, some mid-70s, as you saw, 76 from Steve Torrance, so, you know, we were loaded up for bear and uh, going for it. Then you have the accident with, uh, with Antron, you know, it looked like some parts breakage there at the, at the finish line and that's uh, the ultimate worst place for something like that to happen. It looks like it took out the tire and that takes out the wing and then, uh, you're just hanging on from that point and glad to see he walked away from that uh, the main thing is that uh you know that he's all right at the end of the night and uh in atria you know he's looking at safety first and figured uh by the time it was going to take for them to, to clean up uh, the mess you know and get the track back to uh to race ready it's just gonna be too late and you know the conditions wouldn't be uh, safe for us to race so that was probably the right call to make as a driver you're always bummed when you can go out there and you know make a uh a, a, a quick run for sure, but you know, we, I think we stayed uh, number three or number four, so you know, we'll uh, come back tomorrow and uh, give it our best. <laughs>